Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Today is going to be mail call number two. I know it's been a long time since I did mail call number one, but as everybody can imagine, life takes over. There's, you know, way more important things like Sturgis <laughs> and other things, writing, whatever, work, school, take your pick. Anyway, so we're going to do a mail call and we're going to do mix it up a little bit more too and, and talk about some other things very quickly. Um, so, the first mail call we've got, let me get out the fancy schmancy uh, letter opener. You like that? Good stuff. Anyway, so first one is from Superman Kev 2001 Kevin Schroeder. Out of Canada, no doubt, no less, out of Canada. Y'all have seen uh, the Blue Bike and Doyle. I don't have his Crocodile Dundee knife, and I dang sure don't have the whoosh, right across the table like he does. <clears throat> anyway, so. Superman Kev provided or sent us some kick-ass, what do they call these things again? Uh, tag cards or I call them business cards, so to speak. Um, not sure what you'd actually call them, but pretty cool cards. Get the word out, spread your name out there. Kind of work on the same thing with uh, trying to throw the logos on my, um, on my stickers and such. Thanks for those. And he threw out some kick-ass stickers himself. These are his. Sent me a couple of them. I appreciate that. Nice stickers. Thank you, Superman Kev. Superman Kev writes, Hey, Toby, the channel is growing. Welcome to the community. Best advice I can give you is be yourself and post often. And I've been kind of flunking on the post often piece. But anyway, we'll get there. I have sent you stickers, spam cards. That's what they're called. And a poker chip. He sent a poker chip. Glad to like your funny videos. Man, those videos are hilarious. Y'all haven't watched Superman Kev. You haven't checked out his videos. He's got some hilarious stuff. He did a pretty uh pretty cool with a little with a little mini what looked like a little little mini havoc honda havoc type deal trying to teach his nephew how to ride a motorcycle <laughs> anyway but yeah this is a uh, pretty cool we will uh we'll undo this later but long story short that's the uh the chip pretty cool huh thank you keep that one out next one is from some place where the label is blocked. The return address is blocked. But it says Royal Mail, so who knows? The way it looks, it could be any country. My suspicions say Canada, England, Australia, but we'll see. Oh, all right, kick, mm, it's R6 Monkey. Sent a bunch of spam cards, some great looking stickers, a couple different versions of them too. So sent one version of a sticker, a second version of a sticker. Spam cards. I don't know why you gotta push the Yamaha, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, cool looking spam card. It has that on the front and that on the back. And then a really kick-ass looking, almost like a photograph slash postcard, but you would mail it. It says, hey Toby, hope you're doing well. I'm loving the start you've made with the channel and looking forward to, to, to more to come. Ride safe and ride free. Nice. Appreciate that. Very nice. Add that to our pile. This is what's going to go up on our board. And while I'm doing this, hey, if we read these things, y'all throw in the comments down below. Um, what would you, what do you typically do? If you get more than one sticker, do you, you know, you throw up on a board. I see some have come put them inside saddlebags, some put them on windshields. If you get more than one, what do you do with the second one? What's your thought? This one is from JP1970. I've enjoyed his videos. He does. He's had some pretty, some really good videos. He did one where he swapped out his uh, the tank badge on a heart on his bike. Took the actual Harley Davidson badge off and then put a uh, a vinyl vinyl decal on it with the bar and shield. It looked really good with next to the paint that job that he has on it. He's out of Nevada. This is a really cool sticker he's got. I wonder what that thing is being out in Nevada. Hmm, just kidding, it's an alien. Cool, I like that. I like how you did that, JP. And he says, Toby, thanks so much for for swapping stickers. Here's one of my new ones, stay safe, JP1970. I appreciate that, thank you so much. He uh, just went out and got himself a new, uh, couple months back or something like that. I think he went out and got a, um, what is the Harley's uh, hydraulic version? Man, I, it, I knew it off the top of my head. And now all of a sudden that name of that bike is just totally escaping me. But I'm sure you all know which one I'm talking about. It was Harley's version of trying to do a like a, not a crotch rocket per se, but it's just a, uh, has the big old uh, 
Oh my gosh, I am totally blanking on that bike. So this one is from is from MWC, Motorcycling with Carl. Now that is a high personality, energetic, badass looking sticker, man. Right on MWC, Motorcycling with Carl. Thank you, Carl. I appreciate that sticker. He writes, hello, Toby. Thank you very much for sending me a sticker. I had not seen your channel until I received your letter. I have subscribed and checked out your first mail call. Looking forward to more great content. Hopefully by the time you receive this letter, my moto mail with Dolly episode number two and the first try at it that went horrible wrong has aired. But hey, thanks for watching. Right on. Motorcycling with Carl. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, that's, that goes right, Carl talks right to what I was telling in a mail call one. Um, as I go through these, telling y'all, when you all share people's links, which I'm going to do with all these below in my channel when I do this, I look at people's YouTube channels and I see those who comment on their channels. If you're about, if they're about motorcycles, if you guys are about motorcycles, I'm going to follow your, your channel. I'm going to like it, subscribe it, and follow it. And it, and it, it it does get kind of uh, challenging to keep up with everybody's, but at least I've got them and I can pick through and choose or watch what I can when I can and I'll watch the others as time permits. I'm gonna get them all in there. Uh oh, this is from what everybody's heard a lot of lately. This is from the Homebees. This is our Homebees. They sent a nice looking sticker. I love this sticker. This is a cool sticker and a little note. Oh, and magnets too. That's cool. That's a, that's a magnet. That is awesome. I don't want to mess up a computer though. And then they got the couple different versions of their stickers. Those are badass looking. I like that. Cool stickers. They're going to go up nicely. Find a nice special place on the board there. And the homies write, Toby, thank you for the sticker swap, my friend. Looks like your channel is heading in the right direction. You are also blowing up on IG. Keep on keeping on. Be safe. The homies, Mark and Karen. If I'm not mistaken, the homies were the ones that did the um, Easy Rider version, Did, weren't you? Didn't they do the Easy Rider? Y'all check that video out. They did an Easy Rider version video. It's pretty cool. Blast from the past. This one is from T. Cooper out of Tennessee. It had a little hole in there, so we almost lost something. It looks like it's a chip. I think it's time I sharpen my knife. Oh, yeah, we got a chip inside. A couple chips. Awesome. It's Ty from Tennessee. I kind of suspected. I was wondering. But got the kick-ass looking chip with his part of one of his light stickers on it. And then he's got on the other side of it the tie from Tennessee piece. I don't know if that's coming in clear or not. But that's a nice looking chip. That's going to find a place on or a special place. And he also sent a poker chip from Chattanooga, Tennessee. White Lightning Harley Davidson. That's a nice looking chip. Speaking of which, y'all, just so you know, if anybody wants to swap chips or they have chips they'd like to get a hold of, I've picked up a few from my local dealer, Bluegrass Harley-Davidson, and we've got them to swap. If you want one, let me know. And then these are two of his stickers. Of course, you've probably seen them on the Doyle channel and a couple other channels. JP1970, I think he got, he got a couple of them or whatever. I'm trying to get this straight. Yeah, these are some nice stickers. Thanks, Ty. I appreciate that. Those are some nice stickers. All right, so we were picking up with Ryan Hager, a.k.a. Kid Moto 22 And he sends some kick-ass stickers, as always, like I've ever had them from him before. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, this is his sticker, his personal sticker for his channel, Kid Moto 22 Pretty badass. It says Kid Moto 22 up top there, too. And he also included Five Dirty Biker podcast stickers which are always nice to have. I think I've already got one up there. So guess what? That means these are going to get spread the love out. <laughs> you like that? Doesn't make no sense. But uh, yeah, spread the love out. Get the word out so we have a hopefully bigger crowd for the next Midwest Moto Meetup. And Kid Moto writes, Toby, thanks for following my content and the five dirty bikers it's quite a ride we're on right now and only because people like you are willing to check us out man that's saying a lot i appreciate that you're right you guys but you guys y'all make it interesting you guys talk it real speak it real you tell it like it is and i enjoy it it's always fun 
Wet banana makes a whole different... Uh, <laughs> we'll just leave that one as it is. That was Wet Banana Mike, in case nobody knew that. This next one is from the Ozarks HD Riders, who I have been trying to link up with a couple times, and it just has not panned out. But we'll, we'll link up eventually. We rode through, uh, on our way up to Sturgis, we rode through Missouri, of course, for us, coming from Elizabethtown. It's straight up uh, 64 to 70 for us, the route we chose, and took us through St. Louis and Kansas City. And they're south of that by a, by a ways, probably a half hour, 45 minutes, I think. And we tried to Instagram back and forth and link up, but timing just didn't work out. Messages didn't come across in time, and so on and so forth. But we'll get together sometime. So they sent a couple, of, another couple of really, these are some, y'all just make up some incredible stickers. I tell you what, y'all, all the stickers I've gotten are so neat, so um, inventive. I mean, the designs from that's a that's a good looking bridge there. I have to tell me about this sometime. But uh, those are some nice. And they write, thanks for the sticker swap, Toby. It's getting harder for me to know who I've sent stickers to or not. Keep up the great content on YouTube, brother. Ride safe and ride easy. Pause. Thank you so much. And I will do that. I'll tell y'all what. One thing that I'm doing, I I, I feel that. I don't know how many y'all do, but when it comes to stickers and swaps and who you've got, who you haven't, I keep an Excel roster. That's how I don't want to say nerdy it is about me for to do that, but I, that's the only way I can keep track. I keep an Excel roster. I put people's name, the, the 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 names, addresses, and all that kind of stuff of what they send, so that I know that I uh, send it out to them. I put the date that I put it in the mail. Just my method. And it works for me. I don't go crazy. Did I mail to them? Did I not mail to them? It doesn't mean I'm going to get anything back and I don't expect anything back. But it helps me know and that way I'm spread, reaching out to everybody. This next one is from Easy Rider out of Prescott, Arizona. I hope, he's, I hope you're doing better, brother. I hope you're feeling better. Saw your video the other day. But uh, really hope you're recovering safely and well. But he sends a, uh, a business card. I'm right hand. That's why I default do that. But he sends a really nice looking business card. That's why you gotta do it like that so it gets into focus. I learned that from John Maxwell. It puts his hand in front of stuff and it comes into focus for what you're trying to show. And then he says, hi Toby, sorry I don't have any stickers to swap. Here's my spam card if you want it. Thank you for being a loyal viewer and subscriber. Are you going to put up any more for us? Well, there's your answer, Easy Rider, because it's right here. <laughs> What I'm letting y'all down on is I got to get some ride videos out there. I've made some, but I haven't got any of them produced because they suck. But it's okay. I'll get them out there just bl blind and, and amateuristic and go from there. So this next one is from the Brew City Rider. I was just watching his video today, his latest one. He's doing an update on Kenosha. That's, a, that's some sensitive area out there. And I pray that you guys out there, BCR and the rest of them, y'all stay safe because that can that's some ugly business out there. So Brew City Rider sends a pretty kick-ass looking sticker. Whenever I see your sticker, dude, this makes me think of Vietnam. It does. I really can, I, it, that's the first thing that comes to my mind is like Vietnam type stuff. Seeing a guy in those kind of helmets just having an M60 with a you know belt fed just swinging through there and just letting the rounds fly. <laughs> Might well, sound crazy, but that's what I think of. So the Bruce City Rider, he says, Howdy, Toby. Thanks for your interest and for supporting my channel. I always enjoy and appreciate a good sticker swap. Live hard, ride easy. Your friend, BCR. Bruce City Rider, folks. You can check him out. He's That's a great channel to watch. He did some stuff a while back where he's trying to do a um, riding, riding with no helmet just to see how he could do it and what he could figure out and he had the mic the like a purple panda put in a couple different spots just to see how he could get the sound going at highway speeds it's a good informative one you can hear some stuff going on he talks it through and it's a good video so this next one is from diesel's hog vlog and we shall see what we shall see here these are so easy to tear open but they're also easy to tear what's inside there we go all right, so <laughs> that's funny. Appreciate that. Let's see. So Diesel Hog Vlog. He's from Oh Red Clip, Alberta. Okay, so he says, "Here's a play, Toby. Here's a poker chip and a couple of other goodies. Thanks for the swap. Sorry, I don't have stickers yet, but they're coming. Take care, brother. Brad. Uh, like I said, I tell you what. Like I said, I 
I am not concerned if anybody has stickers. Would I like to get them? Yeah, because they'll go up my board. But in the meantime, send some really cool uh, Amsoil keychain key and a good sticker. And that'll go up on the board quite nicely. And they also sent me a Badlands Alberta Harley Davidson uh, po Harley Davidson poker chip. That is nice. That is badass. Thank you. Thank you for that. Next one we have is from Mike Rizzo, Rizzo the Motorcycle Showcase. If y'all haven't checked that out, you need to. So, Motorcycle Showcase was on with the, the Badgers a few weeks back trying to stand up their website. Um, go to Motorcycle, you can Google it, the Motorcycle Showcase, and it's a budding website that's similar to like Facebook from the perspective of you put your motorcycle on there you can take pictures put your videos up on there and you talk up you know you tell describe your motorcycle and everybody can do it and it's gonna grow it's a it's an awesome really good looking site a lot of potential it's early but um, it's right up there with the support uh, VMC the or the BMC supporting it again the motorcycle showcase check it out see what we got here all right so the motorcycle showcase y'all when I show you this some of you may have already seen this logo but this is the card the motorcycle showcase go check that site out and folks get your bike up on that on that website get your bike up there but Mike sends he go he writes Toby I just wanted to send you a little something to say thank you for joining the site and spreading the word as best you can. Words really can't express how thankful I truly am. Feel free to keep in contact with me about features you see or encounter that may need adjustment or anything you think just should be added in general. Sincerely, Mike Rizzo, owner of the Motorcycle Showcase. I'm telling y'all, get on there. Check that site out and get on it so you can tell him what you think of it. He's always open. I already contacted him once early on a few weeks back and said, hey, here's what I think if something's missing or something ain't working right. Responded right away and said thank you. And he even included a couple stickers. Nice. These will go up on the board. Stuff like this is I'm probably going to throw these on windshields or helmets too so that uh, it grows the community. People will see them. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. The last letter we got is from Mudnut59. Wow. Mud nut went all bumper sticker on you, man. You're gonna make me step my game up. So <laughs> he'll take up the bottom half of a of the sticker board, no doubt. So mud nut is a jeeper biker, just get in the mud and get dirty, all type of stuff, y'all. So this is a pretty this is a check out his channel, Mud Nut59. I believe he's up in Canada. Ontario, excuse me, yes. And he says, Hello Toby, how you doing, my new friend? Here's a sticker for you. I've also included a couple of stickers from two of my very good friends, Drive Shaft Drew and Corkboard TV. Check them out. And I think I already have, and those are some pretty cool videos. Great channels. These will have to go on the bottoms of <laughs> the sticker board. So the last, not last sticker, but so I've got a blank one. So this was sent in a package I got a, a, a while back, y'all, and I will uh, show you the, you'll see them once I do the bike video i kind of i want to do a bike video go walk around everybody does say what do i ride you know the honorary one does this whole thing where it's what's between your legs or what's between my legs but this guy does graphics 570 customs custom graphics if you ever need graphics vinyl decals some people have their own place they already do some people already actually do their own but he makes some really good decals graphics and reasonably priced too very very inexpensive it's a side business he does but this is an example of some of the i asked him to send me some of these and i would put them out on my channel and i'm going to put them up there on the board and uh, you guys i just i encourage you to check out his, his uh check him out on facebook his uh, email address is mr mcnasty 2764 at aol.com he's out of wyoming pa so again i'll Hold that business card up so you guys can check them out. Does some great, great stickers. So aside from that, the letters, um, I also have some other stuff I got. 
And I'm going to throw this stuff up there. I don't know if you all ever have done this stuff, but we've got some Black Rifle Coffee stickers, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Everybody knows you got to have a Zero 3D sticker. So I've also got a big old sticker from Magnum Racing. These are the guys that I bought my brake cable or my hydraulic great brake hydraulic lines from when I put my 16s 16 inch bars on. Swapped out the, the 12s or 14s I had and put 16s on and I got the cables from them. They were really professional with everything. They um, they even uh, replaced some cables that I broke during the process of make of putting the bars together, thread and everything. They replaced them. And when it turned out that after I put the bars back, put the bars on, I didn't even need one of the cables and they took it back and refunded me. And it was like a month after I did it. So magnumshielding.com for your braided brake lines and such other things. Really good company, makes some great product, great brake lines. And then you all saw my uh, video a while back from um, when I did the tour pack installation, the tour pack rack up on the wall. Um, this is the sticker for that gentleman, uh, and it's iron, custom iron out of uh, Michigan, I think it is, but you saw the logo on the letter. You can see that video up here. I'll share that. Great one there, too, but aside from that, like I said, guys, like I said, everybody, that's, that's how I am. If I see you all share YouTube channels, you shout out to people, I'm going to put those names, I'm going to go look them up, I'm going to friend with them, I'm going to link them up. And like I said, if you put your address, your mailing address, P.O. Box, whatever it is you're comfortable with, uh, if you put your address in your about section or someplace in one of your comments or your description of a video, I'll put it down and I will send a sticker, whether you know me or not. I just send a sticker because it's a, it's a motorcycle person and I'm trying to uh, spread the community, get the name out there and get to know more people. So this is what it looks like before. This is what it looks like after. And there you go. So everybody's up on the board that sent letters up to me and got stickers to me. So um, yeah, there you go. I, I appreciate all the stickers. Um, for those of you watching, look down below in the comments there because every single one that sent one, I'll have a link to their YouTube channel page there, their YouTube channel. If you liked this, maybe check out a video or two of mine. Um, there's one on a, on a tour pack installation here. There's a review on a um, rider backrest from Bad Boys Cycles. Getting there, guys. We're, we're getting stuck content on this channel as we as it goes pretty quickly. Um, I'd ask you if you'd like it, subscribe, contact me, send me a letter if you want to. Like I said, I will be uh, sending stuff out to people as I get e addresses and stuff. Uh, if you have an address on your channel, I'll send you a sticker, send you a letter. So anyway, support bikers, support the biking community. Get on that my motorcycle showcase. Check out the home bees. Check out all of them. Go check out, um, um, oh my goodness gracious. I am blanking. Check out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm tripping. I'm really tripping. Camera shy, I guess, maybe. Um, what is their name? Oh yeah, the Badgers. Oh my gosh. The Badgers. They've got that support biker community support bmc or support mvc support motor vlog community and uh go check out that website it's extremely functional find out you can find biker friendly businesses other bikers moto vloggers check them out grow the community until next time ride safe keep the shiny side up stay healthy